everybody, last run uh, a little humbling for sure, but uh, I think we learned a valuable lesson about taking units that we can't afford to play. When you draw them, it feels bad, man. It feels bad, man. Um, I don't know. Whenever we're in trouble, melting as our champion seems to be a nice uh, option for us. And then I thought about doing a double melting. Wouldn't that be sweet? Wouldn't that be something? I don't know. I'm trying to think, what's what's the melting weakness? Doesn't really have super good units, like for damage purposes. Now, when I think of the clan with the best units, I do think of Umbra, um, but it's kind of a little a little cheesy. What about like melting? Hellhorned. No, we've done that many times and it's garbage, right? 9, 17, 18. We got a 17 rank win on Melting Stygian? Alright, if you insist. <laughs> I'll give it a try, I suppose. Um, interesting. I do like a draft. You're going to devour my spells. Obviously, we want heavy champion. Heavy champion, please. Two-thirds chance of a heavy champion. No heavy champion. So what we're going to do is resolve to reform two... Oh, it's got buff, dude. It used to be one um, to start with. So this is great because resolve makes our units get plus one burnout. But also uh, plus five damage, which will work really well on our drafts. Uh, as long So right now, I think we leave our champion at the top as a respawn enabler. And then we throw our units into the breach to try to get them killed, brought back, killed, brought back, killed, brought back. Now, seven energy on the first turn of battle actually strikes me as being insanely good if we draw an ice tornado. Spells getting another upgrade spot is really good, but I think that this is one of the unique situations where our starting mana curve is, is moved enough to the heavy curve that I think it's actually worth doing to begin with. That's my reasoning. If I'm wrong, at least I thought I was right instead of just throwing it out there willy-nilly. So you die. No, you don't die. But you burn out, and then you'll come back. That's B-E-A beautiful. Um, wouldn't mind getting you out there then as well. So we're going to summon a, an insanely good draft here. Oh, because he's dazed. It doesn't work immediately. That's fair, though it irritates me. Two, five. Again, might as well get these guys going, I think. And I think we want to train steward the block. Two, five. Yeah, this is fine. We want to train Steward to block for our champion, because our champion does best uh, as a... Well, as a, like a nobody right now. <laughs> as, as somebody that exists exclusively to reform, I think is what I mean to suggest. Um, so, hold on. 2-5. Yeah, we want like this. You're not going to die, but you're going to be close. I really should have done this earlier, if we were going to do it. It worked out. I, I think I got lucky on that one, but... I'll take it. Dunk, dunk, dunky, dunk, dunka, dunk, dunka, dunka, dunka. Just in general, I think it's better to have our dregs come out there. Because they also benefit from being reformed. The draft is a big one, though, I'll admit. The more drafts we get out, again, they cost zero when they come back, too. So hold on. Um,. Definitely any zero cost card should be played. Now I gotta be honest, I think it's the draft is great, but it's probably better for us to just play an ice tornado. And if it hits the healer, you're you're sitting pretty long term. So we got two dregs back, but our dregs are pretty good. So we can play those for zero. And we, we're doing great stuff and you're dead to the card anyway. So that, that was a great start. So I think we figured out the line that we want to take on this deck. So let's just use our noggin. Look, I don't want to say I called it, but Entombed Explosive got a buff to deal 50 damage to the front enemy unit. I still think, long term, we don't love it. Um, but admittedly, it dying and then coming out with Burnout 1 so it dies again is pretty sweet. Hey, Descend the unit got buffed too. I haven't been taking this card very often. Um, so this, this feels right to me. Apply Dazed 1 when you send it downwards. That seems pretty good as well. Um... And Molded, of course. It's really good if our champion dies. Let's just try not to let that happen. I think Entombed Explosive can work fine right now. Cuddle Hex. Apply Frozen. 
to a random card in your hand. I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna that's all I can promise you is I'm gonna give it a try. Um So I wanna kill, you get rage five. We need damage dealing units. But I honestly, I think Paraffin Thug this early is gonna, he's gonna generate a stupid amount of money for us. We do want another unit probably. Don't judge me, okay? That's unfortunate. Um, I will say, look, I want this guy to have multi-strike. But Draft just getting like pogged up. That's solid. That's solid stuff. And we'll purge. And, uh... It's a tough choice. But I think we like to purge our dregs before our train stewards right now. Because we... I, I, I believe it. I, I really do. I think that the train stewards coming back reformed... Even admittedly with Burnout 1, but I think their stats just are more conducive to it. We're not going to turn that on because we really need our champion to live. If our champion dies, we just lose. We probably, we go from like 60 to 0 right off the bat. Hold on, I feel a little framey here. I don't actually, I don't know if I am or it's psychological, but I'm going to close some background processes. Oh, well, if you give me one moment, I'm gonna, I'll be back in just one second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Um, it's a great turn to have 10 energy. So, I know we love this. You know we're playing this. There's 20 gold. <clears throat> I think we just put a draft up here. And I think Cuddle Hex is a tough choice for me. I'm going to put you... I'm gonna put you here, because I don't want to take up space on the top floor. I'd really like our champion um, to have some protection. And I don't want to take away capacity that would make that, you know, potentially happen. Um, so I, I think that was pretty sensible. So we're gonna bring back a draft next turn, no matter what. Guess what, boys? That's another 20 gold in my pocket. What I'm looking for is the relic that makes uh, frozen cards free. Then we got a great synergy here. So what are we going to play? We're definitely going to put the draft out there. We're going to put a dragon in front of him. Mostly because I'd like him to live long enough to burn out, I guess. And then you can go in front of you. I don't think we waste our time. Or, or, really, let me rephrase. I don't think we waste capacity playing... Um, Anything that's a train steward. We'd rather bring back like reformed units as soon as possible. So um, we're going to summon another dreg here. Mostly because we want the dregs to have a good chance to get reformed. Um, we're also going to get you out of the equation. So you're going to get hasted past this floor. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about that quite frankly. And there's going to be no space for anything up here. Which is actually really really bad. Um, but our champion can do some damage. It would be a really nice turn. Okay, so this is a weird one, but check this out. That seems horrible. However, it allowed us to get that out there. And then... I mean, this is 9 damage instead of 6. And then we can still play this. We should... I mean, we're gonna live. Let me put it that way. But that was a little spicy. I think that was a smart play at the top, but things got a little hairy there. Um, I don't know if you want the more drafts, the merrier. I think you might be better off taking fewer drafts so that they get cycled back and forth as often as possible. This is close. I think we can afford it, because our deck is very lean right now. I definitely think Ice Tornado is super good. I think this is this is a card we're, we're enjoying having, and drawing it on turn one gives us a ton of momentum. Um, more units interest me. Like, getting Shark Frostbite tank is nice, but I think we're kind of relic fishing right now. Five when a Tomb unit dies. 
You are a tomb unit. How interesting for us. I think that's our gimme then. Um, this feels good right now. I will purge a unit and get an upgraded version later. You know what? <laughs> what it? Uh, get, 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 get rid of a dreg. And then hopefully we will get a useful dreg later. Because the train stewards are not a long-term solution, even though I said that we want the get rid of the dregs over the train stewards. There's like some faction synergies we can get going on here. I'm tempted. But I'm, I'm feeling good about what we got going on here for sure. I'm feeling like we got a great setup. So we do have Paraffin Thug. The dream with Paraffin Thug is we really just get as much gold as possible by summoning a unit to die for you. And uh, I still think you work best on the top floor. Capacity is weak on the bottom floor. So Paraffin Thug, just realistically, is probably not long for this world. But any gold that it gives us is a nice bonus, and it'll get brought back anyway. So you get out of there. You know you're toasted. I mean, you're not. There's no way to keep you alive. So let's put you up here, and we'll just. But then you'll get brought back. Uh, next turn, probably. Um, so hold on. When a tomb unit dies. Two five five. I think you 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 have like I've got to knock it into my skull. When you get a draft, the draft has to get out there. Because you want the chance to make it pop as quickly as possible. And I actually think we learned a valuable lesson last time about not putting a train steward on the top. Because it changes the capacity concerns that we have for the rest of the game. So this will give me five energy next turn. You guys all dying is not really that bad. Um... This is a good gold opportunity. I do want to play my draft, but I'm also like, hold up. You're still dying? I have to play this thing. It's worth it for the gold. For 20 gold, that's that's a steal, brother. So we're gonna get a ton of energy. This sucks. <laughs> this floor is a disaster. Um, but we just got so much energy. Check this out. Look at that. Okay, we're totally free in many ways. Um, honestly, why not? And then down here, we love this. And you're just like a nobody now. Um, none of these units are reformed yet. I think we can play you here for capacity purposes. And I think we could pro... I don't know. Maybe we'll just put a Cuddle Hex on the bottom for now. Pyre's gonna take one hit. No big deal. Okay, this is a big final wave, but this is also huge. So Entombed Explosive, already. We're getting 50 damage out of it, but admittedly it's not going to hit you. But that's okay. We'll get you out there. We'll get a frozen card. No, we won't get a frozen card, but we'll get it stronger on this turn. We didn't get Entombed Explosive back, so we're doing very little damage. It's very important we get this damage out there. So you're doing 9, you're going to kill in 1 hit. Now we're doing 150. We also, that's a gimme. I'm just trying to think about what for sure we're gonna play. You actually are pretty, pretty potent here. 210 damage. Because you burn out, I'm willing to put you down here. We brought back two dregs. A little touchy. We're doing 10 damage. It's not a lot. <laughs> on the other hand, okay, hold on. Nine. Taking 48 damage. Taking 76 damage. Come on, Pyre. I'm not even thinking about it. I think we're dead. Oh my god. We we were at, I was two off. We lived. Okay, so we need the Pyre health, obviously. It's not even close. Um... I can't help but feel um, that Siren Song with the Frozen cards is going to be really nice for us. I actually don't want this because I don't want you to burn out. But I kind of want this. I feel like Spell Weakness is like is good enough. We need a unit, clearly. 
Although I will say you in front of Paraffin Thug. I don't know, maybe we could make a nice burnout floor for you. It's tough. It's not easy, let's put it that way. I think this is better. I think we stick to our guns and just reform as much as possible. Uh, capacity has actually been more of a concern than energy, I think. What we would actually love to see is endless on our exploding tank unit. So that's, that's where we're going here. Quick is not what we want. Like, burnout one. Who do you... <laughs> Do we want you to burn out later? I don't know. Hold on. And can't gain armor one. Not not really that useful. And quick. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, quick is a pretty good one to put on a draft. So I can live with that. And then I think we'll reroll. Please tell me it's not endless. Okay, because I would have I would have hated myself in the morning for that one. And we'll make the sweep unit a little stronger. It's not incredible right now, but. I think, you know, if we if we play our cards right, and we're, uh, pun intended, I suppose, and we're very uh, cautious about our trials, I think there's a chance. Ah, this is interesting. You can enhance the units with an additional plus five, or you could get some stats. If I could keep our champ alive, I would love the stats, but I think instead we're just going to go heavy on the, on the reformists. I am thinking now, and, and here's how you know. Yikes. Here's how you know I'm thinking with portals. What if we summon burnout one units on the top floor and our champ on the middle floor? Will we get the burnout units to get reformed because it goes top to bottom in the stack on turn one? There's only one way to find out, but I think that actually I like this. Like that's pretty good. A sweep paid dividends. And I don't know. Maybe a paraffin thug on this floor to get some of those weakened enemies. You're gonna die. What if uh, you're gonna burn out either way, right? So what if we just put a train steward here as a tank for the time being? So you always play your zero cost units. I'm just gonna be honest, you're not staying alive. You're, you're dying here. So, in my opinion, we might as well do that so we get some gold out of the death. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. We're looking for drafts that are coming back and are incredibly strong. You're a 30 by 2. Honestly, you'll get two kills there and protect this guy, but do we really want him to even be protected? This... Gets us a kill on you. You die in the process, but I think that's fine. You block a hit for our sweeper, which is important. What if we put you in here? You live. You should still... No, you don't get the kill because you would have died to the spikes here. So I think we keep screwing up our gold game. But by bringing these units back every turn, we're getting a lot out of it. I would just love to draw our Entombed Explosive, but I guess that's impossible, so... How about now? Hit, 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 slay, you make it to the top. Honestly, I feel like we're... I don't think we're playing it right at all. However, it doesn't seem that bad. So this is what we've been looking for this whole freaking time. Um, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. You're dying here? We definitely want this to die as well. Okay, now you're all done. You got Burnout 3, get out there. Should have probably played uh, Crushing Demise before we summoned any of the units, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and this would be nice, but can't be done. 
Okay, so we got a Burnout 1 Spell Weakness unit. We do also have 8 Energy, which is super nice. I mean, you gotta play... Even though we could put Spell Weakness on you, I think you just play this and play this. Now, what do you get? You add Self-Mutilation to the top of the draw pile, which is truly terrible. Um, but at least... Uh, I mean, we're going to give you a bunch of Slay Triggers. Pretty much any way you slice it here. I don't want to give you an infinite, if possible. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just... I'm just cruising through this. Well, you only put one on top this time. Okay. I, I don't know why, but I appreciate it. So our draft added a lot. And then check this out. It added even more. And then you're doing pretty swell. That's enough. All right. How about that? Plan still working. And we get a, we get a relic out of this, right? Sorry, an artifact. Two very different things. Five damage to... All enemy units when a burnout unit dies. That seems conducive to our plans. Uh, consume cards in hand. Add a draft unit to your hand. Enhance with plus 10 for each card consumed. Sure. Sure. Why not? Why not? So now, oops, it's all drafts is my, my new game plan, I suppose. Get upgraded drag. On revenge, you get plus one. That seems horrendous uh, for a unit that has three HP. So let's see where we're going with this. <laughs> let's see what else you got. I really don't think our units need that many upgrades right now. I almost like... I think relic spam might be, might be in the cards for us. Okay, I'll tell you straight up. Um... A playing a zero cost unit, making a random card in our hands. Right, let's not do this one right now. Making a random card in our hand costs zero until it's played or discarded. Yeah, it's like insanely great. So what? Do, how do we love it? We love it. Um, we love it. We love it. It's weird, but <laughs> I think we love it. All right, this would be a great floor to get a little gold. A little gold, if you don't mind. Remember, units make everything cheaper. So, that's beautiful. Um, and everything's dying up here. Dregs have got to be played. You'll get a kill on me, which is very annoying. You probably will not get a kill on me. I just don't want to trigger your your harvest, but then again, this will trigger your harvest heavily as well. I can live with that. Um, I think I want you... I mean, really... I, I was just thinking about whether it's better for you to take the hit or not, and I think the answer is it's better. And if you get brought back... So be it. So be it. Enhance a unit with plus five and burnout plus two. We have so much energy. <laughs> okay, this is nice. We're gonna have a ton of energy for next turn too. So you put out the entombed explosive. You're now deceased. Beautiful stuff. Definitely a free kill. You'll love to see it. We do have our quick draft now. It's still going to die. Um, and it's going to get killed. Uh, th this unit's going to get killed, I mean, because of our exploding candle. Um, I'm just trying to think about the best way to approach this. You're going to make something freeze in our hand. So why don't you get out here? No, it only works at the end of turn, so maybe that was uh, very stupid. But hey, check that out. I don't know, it totally would have worked. Whatever, I don't know. This deck, it requires more skill to pilot than I have in my Cerebral Cortex, but that's okay. Uh, so, what do we want? I think we want this and this 
And then I think we want to consume cards in hand and add a draft unit to your hand with plus 10 for every card consumed. Now we have a, uh, a 60 by 2 burnout 1 draft unit that we have no choice but to play and hope it comes back next turn. <laughs> or in a couple turns at least. Uh, okay, you can get another super draft here, but I would I would use your noggin first. So like this, not a big deal. Just make things cost zero. Um, make things cost zero, please. Well, it doesn't really matter. This cost zero because we just want it out there. Would have been nice to have gotten you. You don't. Oh, you do have stealth. Okay. Um, honestly. Why would you put this unit at the... It, it, whatever. Don't worry about it. You, you can't afford it. Oh, but it got frozen. Thank you. <laughs> Please, I need my super draft. This thing only... It, we only took one turn of stealth off of it. We need something tank here. <laughs> this strikes me as being very not good. Yeah, we can't we can't afford to play that. We need something that can take a couple hits. Unfortunately, no such cards exist. Like that's our play. Yikes. Uh All right, I mean that's a sick draft, don't get me wrong. But we need some stuff up in the front. So now you're taking 10. You should definitely protect this unit. You should have put the drag in front of it. I mean, what are you thinking? How do you take 10? Oh, because two units are dying. So let me think. You're going to hit, lose a stealth. Hit, lose a stealth. Hit, hit. So you're going to, right now, you're running out of stealth. Not very good. Um,. You only have Burnout 1, which is not fantastic. We know we want that out there. That's a gimme. And then we know... Uh, well, you know, we might not want these out here because you're going to get plus 10 for every draft consumed. But you're going to be a Burnout 1 when you come out, which is, like, truly horrible. Because you're not even going to live long enough to do any damage. None of you are. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't really change anything. Well, we'll start anew. <laughs> Certainly doesn't feel balanced to be easier right now, but let's get over it. Shall we? You're gonna devour my spells. Alright. So I like the reform build, don't get me wrong. But I do also like... When you hit an enemy and it hurts them a lot, that that seems very good to me. Um, and sure, let's let's daze a unit fifty percent of the time they enter our train. So what we need to do is keep our champion from burning out, which uh, I don't know if it even works yet. So we may want to stall on playing our champion or not. Um, it's a tough choice either way. I don't think you play the champion yet. You could play a drag to get ready for a collector, maybe. This is very dangerous. Like, very, very dangerous. It's always easier to fight you a floor out. Should have thought of that before, but... Just try to at least kill one unit if possible. Not gonna happen, okay? Alright, so just... I'm telling you, this is the game plan. Maybe that would have been better here, but... Remove all debuff and buffs from the enemy. So we could remove Rage. 
which will maybe make it so we get a, a little further in. Starting on our next turn, we can draw our champ again. Beautiful. It still does burn out in three turns. That's good enough. <laughs> All right. Any burnout enabling cards have now made it to the top of the list. Yeah, molded will work. I actually feel like Ice Tornado has been good enough, but I'm just going to chill for now. Um, so you, you actually got stronger. Um, Incant now gives you Rage 2 instead of... It was either Rage 1 or it was plus 1, plus 1. We want Burnout Lady, please. No Burnout Lady. I don't really see this working. So I, I think you can go Tycoon and just throw him to the wolves, maybe. I think anything with Rage is going to make Multi-Strike a lot better. Then we're just going to make you a little more survivable, even though we probably will just put a tank in front of you as well. Wickless Tycoon. For, for 20 gold, sure. Take, take it or leave it. Alright. So I feel better now, for sure. Still dicey, because we do need to find a way to summon... Uh, we, we need our champ to die, and then we need Molded on, like, the perfect turn to bring them back in time. But it's still pretty good. So I think... Two dazed units. There's nine damage coming out here. Love this. Love this. And guess what? There's a little rage for you. Yeah, like it. Honestly, I think we keep you raging. Although you're going to hit a little harder. But you're going to lose your... I thought you'd lose your encant ability because of that, but maybe not. And then we just want you to burn out to give us some more gold. Okay, so we're going to burn out, which is good because we want to draw Molded on our next turn. And if we can do that, I think we'll be, we'll be somewhat pleased. We did get Molded. I don't think we had to, so that was, that was quite nice, really. Wow. Now that is surprising. <laughs> that that pretty much went perfectly, and I'm, I'm feeling a lot better about myself and about things now. Okay. Um, sure, I think that this keeping our champion alive would, would probably be nice as well. Um... I don't see I don't see this being a spell weakness deck. We know this is what we want, but this is insanely good too. Um, I think this now means we can put Champion and Burnout Lady on the same floor, and then Rage Siren. We can try to get another tank for uh, directly above that. So I know we're playing a little quick here, but I think it's it's a good thing. I don't see that one working. I'm, I'm going on instinct now. Still think seven energy on the first turn of battle is real nice and in this situation. Apply fragile. If this unit loses health, it dies. Excuse me? Ah sure. So that's the debuff they went with, huh? That's dangerous for sure. You could always remold them, but then you'll lose the multi-strike, I think. So, I mean, that's that's dangerous for sure. But very interesting, too. Okay, so we have 10 energy on a turn where we do not need it. That's for certain. You are going to do 10 damage. Give me like this. Then this. Get raged. No, we should have put the you on the floor below, because then we you're more likely to get hit up there with the burnout lady, but that's you know, it is what it is for now. We can we can work with it. We just need to find a way to get her hurt. <laughs> you're living, let's go. Alright, so we want her to get hit so that we get more burnout. But we also want this. Um Honestly. Um, it's a little spiced. 
I think that we're better off going for the gold. So we put these guys here just to eat some shots. Everything's okay. It's just modestly dangerous, you know what I mean? Don't mind this at all. I think we'd rather just slow this down. And then put another dragon here to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decent gold gain. Now we want you to stay alive. Love the encants. She's she's getting mighty strong. You know what? That'll help you out. You know what? That'll help you out. Why why does that not help you out? Oh, because you're getting the Yeah, okay. We should have put you behind one. It is what it is. Why don't you go ahead and die so we get some gold? And everything's looking pretty as a picture right now. It's a tough choice. I still think this is probably better than playing an Ice Tornado, but I could admittedly just be very wrong. How you doing up here? You're still doing- you're, you're living for now. This floor we don't expect to do much damage. I'm trying to think of a unit we would actually like to reform. Because it's gonna have Burnout 1 when it comes out, and it needs to fit in one capacity. Yeah, I, I would- can I cancel? <laughs> I would like to- I would like to take a nothing, please. Unless we want. Uh, you know what? I guess we can put you up here with Burnout 3, and you'll probably still be able to fight. This is for all the marbles. 312? That's pretty good. Our champ does a lot of damage. Alright, so we're still going, we're still cruising. I'm hip, I'm with it. Taka 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 taka. Man, I love Siren Song with with permafrost, but we gotta get it. We know we don't need you. I think you're pretty good, but it's not like the way we're trying to roll this run, but I think we could pivot to rolling like that. And I think we need to go energy just to almost have a chance to play one horns at some point, but... We want Frostbite tank, please. That's that's our play. I'll, I'll live with that. I'll live with that. And then removal goes for you. And you. It is a tank. And now we have an encant floor. As far as duplication... Um... Man, it's, there's got to be a play that's better than duplicating nothing. Like a second molded, maybe. It's not really what I'm trying to go for, but... I also would say, try to play your champion lower. Let your champion get in the mix. We're leaving the champion out to dry right now by, by putting him in a position where he's doing no damage at the top. And I'm embarrassed I only recognize it now. So let's, yeah, let, let's try this, quite frankly. Honestly, we should have let you hit us twice so we get more burnout, but... Totally fine. We'd actually love it if you all also died in the future. And a train steward, uh, really just get out of my deck. We got a nice, sustainable situation here. As I screwed this up, we shouldn't have played you here because now we need a floor where we can actually get both of these units out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play you up here, and I'm going to hope that we get the train steward killed at some point. <laughs> so we can then move onwards with our lives. Capacity is an issue, okay? And we probably should have taken capacity because, you know, we're not playing one horns with four energy. We really need, we need a lot more. Oh, we have too many units. That's becoming abundantly clear. Thanks for the gold. Can't really say this is a, 
a standout play, but... We have too many units and not enough capacity. Because the raw stats on our champ are so good, it is totally fine. But... Oh my god, we have so much gold, too. So the champ is not dying here. How about now? The champ is dying? Alright. Alright. Let's send it. Yeah, let's send it. I can't believe that went as well as it did. Making progress. So much gold, too. Do have a lot of units dying. I think we can make that happen. A little light on spells right now. We don't want dazed if we rely on getting hit, I think. So I think preserve, and then we can hold it until we get pyre bound, and then we don't have to spend the gold on making it better. I don't know, though. Let's go relic. We don't have any X cards right now, I think. So consume restores five pyre health. Not really what we're looking for, but okay. So I would actually say uh, still, we might as well hit Siren Song with this. And plus 20 magic power consumed goes to you. A cheaper spell. One Horn's Tome is now playable, I suppose. And we'll re-roll. Double stack. I mean, Dazed 6 is really good, but Multi-Strike 2 is going to be better. Um, plus 10 magic power. Definitely fits on an Ice Tornado. Probably should have put it on the cheaper one, but guess what? We can just make this one cheaper now. Um, I think that's a, a pretty good use of 400 gold. And our deck is a little fatter than I'd like, but... Baby, there's a big storm coming. Spikes 4. I think we can turn this on, honestly. I think we can turn it on. We got, we got heavy units. To some extent. Now just remember, don't play your train stewards because you want to set up a tank floor instead. So we don't have our dream tank floor, but we still like you being out here. And then... Usually, I think we'll probably try to set up our super tank floor right there. I don't really mind you guys getting stronger for the time being. I'm just trying to think about how to... We probably want to do it like this. And it a spell weakness sweep unit is essentially worthless at the top. But I, 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 have, I have the situation kind of where I want it, I think. We know we want you here, which is going to really pay dividends for us. And we know that you have to go here, at which point we will play whatever spells we can play to make you a little bit stronger, ideally. And then, quite frankly, I'd really just have... You get extra armor, huh? But you keep our tank stronger, so I can live with it. This is in the pursuit of a relic, so it's... It's not gonna be easy, and that's okay. So you, we know we wanted that out there. If we're gonna mold, we should mold here. Get as strong as possible. There is nothing to mold there, but that's okay. Just have you do as much damage as you can. And a train steward does not get played. Rome wasn't built in a day. This one's going to take a minute, okay? So, in theory, honestly, you guys are doing fine. I would rather encant on this floor. As busted as it may look. That's a big one, dude. That's a huge one. And I would... Still, the encants are worth enough that I think you gotta do it there. No space for anything. Now, it's gonna be a little spicy, because... You've gotta live. <laughs> Which doesn't seem too likely right now, but... Um, how about you take one of those and call me in the morning? You're still dying. You're not dying any longer. Honestly, I would still rather you don't take the hit. Alright, this, sh this should be interesting. Only doing 210 is not great. But how many... If I could just put this on you and get you to hit once, that would be amazing. Where are you taking 210 from? You know what I mean? Like, how I, I don't understand how you take 210. You're taking 50 here. Are you really getting hit twice? You are getting hit twice because you have HP, but if you had the multi-strike on you, it would not work. Okay, okay, I get it now. Um, so really, we gotta find a unit. This sucks, dude. 
No matter how I play it because of Fragile, there's no way we can put the multi-strike on you. If you had quick, it would be different, but you will die in one hit if we do that. This will erase all the damage. So I think up here, we get that permafrosted. Just to get the encant, really. We get that out there. And then we can't even really put it on you. We can't afford it to begin with right now, I guess. But um, we can't even put it on you unless we can find a way to keep a unit at more than 25 HP. So, like, for the time being, the best place to put this unit, to put this, I should say, is here. But one by three is so horrendous <laughs> that it doesn't make, it just doesn't make good sense. Um, I, if I could fit a train steward up there, it might benefit us, but... Oh, we're hitting you for 80 now, so that's that's something. Um... I don't know. This, this is looking not great. Obviously. Um, like, this really only adds two extra damage per turn. So I think this is your play. And I'm, I'm very confident that we're dead, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine, and we'll be, uh, we'll be moving on. That was a weird one, and I'll see you next time. See you.